scores of persons dependent on the Vuefort bus service were left stranded in the blazing heat from about 2 p.m. on Wednesday when drivers decided to take a stand after a dispute between one of their drivers and a plainclothes police officer left the driver behind bars. According to reports, words were exchanged between the two and it quickly escalated to an alleged physical altercation. This led to the arrest of the unnamed driver. It was a driver that was coming out to go to the queue and a car, a police officer on my, uh, his private car was passing and he pulled up in front so he kind of blocked the driver from coming out. So there was another driver standing asking him to move away so that the driver can come out and get to the queue but then he refused. This is when he says the plainclothes officer approached the Viewfort bus driver. Words, you know, went back and forth between the driver and the police officer. So then, after the, the driver that was coming out, the bus driver that was coming out, pulled out. He reversed and then he, he pulled out. Then the police officer came out of his, of his vehicle and he rush at the, at the driver that was standing in front of the, you know, telling him to move back. And when he, he rushed on the fella, he hit him, and then the, the fella defended himself, the driver defended himself. Dilsuk alleged that at no point did the plainclothes officer identify himself. The incident led to the Viewfort bus drivers storming to the Criminal Investigations Unit CID nearby, demanding that the driver be released from police custody or they would withhold their services. They were then routed to the police commissioner, however he was out of office at the time. But he said that he will be released um, for today, later today, but we said that unless we see him, we don't work. So, so the driver was charged? Yeah, we want him to be charged because we want to go to, we want him to go to court. Yeah, he's a disciplined driver, but he's a, he's a huge guy who used to lift weights, so, you know, uh, somehow he looked threatening and and because of that, the, the police did, did pull his gun, but the gun fell. According to his account, other officers came to arrest the driver. Information reaching the HTS News Force revealed that two drivers were called in to the Criminal Investigations Unit to record their statement on what transpired, while others came forward on their own accord. Lizandi Boville-Jones, HTS News Force.